HD 208487, a star that's officially named Etonda, is a sun-like star about 15% larger than the sun in both mass and radius. It currently hosts one confirmed exoplanet, though there are two other candidates around the star that will be important for this video. The confirmed planet is a gas giant with minimum mass around half that of Jupiter, and takes 130 days to orbit the star. It was originally called HD 208487b, but was later named Mintome in 2019, after a mythical land where a brotherhood of brave men lived from Central Africa. The other two candidates in its system don't have official names yet, and so are designated HD 208487c and d. But something seems off with the HD 208487 system. Assuming candidates C and D are real planets, then there's something strange going on with their orbits. Mintome is about 0.53 AU away from Etanda, while planet C is 1.94 AU away and D is 2.54. This means there's a fairly large gap between Mintome and planet C, larger than the distance between Mercury and Mars. Meanwhile, planets C and D are separated by only about 0.6 AU, closer to the distance between Earth and Mars. At face value, this doesn't seem too strange. It's not like the solar system planets are evenly spread out. Mercury and Venus are only 0.3 AU apart, while Mars and Jupiter are 4. But the difference here is that HD 208487 isn't like the solar system. As already mentioned, Mintome is a gas giant that is at minimum half as large as Jupiter, or bigger than Saturn, around the distance where Mercury orbits the Sun. Planet C is at least a third the mass of Jupiter around where Mars would be, making it a cool, potentially Saturn-mass planet. Planet D is around the distance of our asteroid belt and is at least 15% the mass of Jupiter, making it a small gas giant or large ice giant. In short, there are potentially three massive planets very close together, which is a very different arrangement of planets in our solar system, and suggests that this system formed differently from ours. Because we know of thousands of exoplanets, we've seen enough stars to see some general patterns emerge. Most notably in this case, HD 10180, a system of six confirmed and three unconfirmed mini-Neptune planets close to one another, a decently similar arrangement to the HD 208487 system. HD 141399 is another similar case, hosting four Jupiter-sized planets in the inner system. And in these two systems, almost all the planets have very circular orbits, with eccentricities close to zero. This is not true for Mintome, which has an eccentricity of 0.37, which means its orbit is more of an oval shape than a circle. This, combined with the large gap between Mintome and Planet C, suggests that some kind of instability may have occurred in the system to produce the current orbital arrangement. In fact, the paper that proposes this even suggests there may be unseen additional planets in the system, and that during formation, its planets may have started out evenly spaced apart before some disaster destabilized the system. And most interestingly, there's some evidence that Mintome formed violently, and the result of collisions between smaller planets, the collisions of which were caused by this instability. So what's happening in HD 208487? Why is it different from other compact systems we've found? Are there any additional planets we haven't found yet, and is Mintome an exoplanet formed out of planetary collisions? To answer these questions, we'll first need to know if planets C and D actually exist or not. Despite how I've been describing them in the video, they are still unconfirmed candidates, not known to definitely exist. However, both of them are likely to exist for a few reasons. The biggest of them is that the paper, which I'll link in the description, that claims to have discovered them also did an analysis of the star, and ruled out stellar activity as a possible source for the signals. Many planetary signals like this turn out to be stellar activity in disguise, which is a major reason many planets are refuted, but we know this isn't the case here. Photometric data, looking at the brightness of the star over time, also doesn't reveal any signals relating to these planets, providing strong evidence that these signals were caused by real planets orbiting the star. Planets C and D, if real, would also be close to a 3-2 orbital resonance, something we expect in compact planetary systems like this. So while these planets are unconfirmed, I would bet on them being real, which is why I'm confident enough to make this video in the first place. I should also mention that there is a fourth candidate planet in the system that, if real, would be between Mintel and Planet C, suggested by this paper. But it's much less confirmed than the other two planets, and it doesn't seem to be important for the purposes of this video, so we'll be skipping it. So assuming all three planets are real, the next big question is how they got to their current orbital arrangement. And this is where things get interesting. The paper also ran dynamical studies of the entire system to test potential formation scenarios, and found that this system could have formed after the instability and destruction of another. More specifically, they proposed that the original HD 208487 system could have been composed of six Neptune-sized planets that were, for some reason, gravitationally scattered, causing the system to become unstable and leading to the arrangement we see today. 
Such a system is sometimes called a peas in a pod system due to their close distances and similar sizes, and we found a few systems like it. Trappist 1 is an example of such a system, having seven planets roughly the same size, roughly evenly spaced apart, and close together. For an example around a larger star, there's Kepler 444, a system of five Mars sized planets around a very old K type star, 75% the mass of the Sun. Kepler 444 itself is 11 billion years old, suggesting it is possible for systems like this to remain stable for extremely long periods of time. HD 208487 is somewhere around 2 billion years old, likely younger than the solar system. Just because some systems remain stable doesn't mean all of them do, and there are a ton of factors that can destabilize a planetary system. As I talk about my instability of the solar system video, something as simple as a passing star altering Neptune's orbit by 1% can throw the entire solar system into chaos. The paper suggests that an instability could have been caused by the dissipating of the star's debris disk after the planets formed. Essentially, they propose a system of six ice giants form, relatively evenly spaced apart from each other. Due to interactions between the planets and the disk they orbit in, the planets are caught into a resonance chain. However, after the disk, which is mainly composed of gas, dissipates, this resonance chain is broken, leading to chaos in the orbits of the planets. So if this system used to have as many as six Neptune-sized planets in it, the obvious question is what happened to all of them? They suggest that after the resonance chain was broken, the planets either collided with one another or got ejected from the system. The paper ran several simulations of the system, and collisions between planets were fairly common, though only about 20% of the simulations where collisions occurred resulted in the system we see today. That's about a 1 in 5 chance, which while not terribly likely, isn't so rare that we can discount it as a possibility. All of their other simulations resulted in instability after formation, and all of the simulations led to planetary collisions occurring. However, only 50% of simulations ended in a three-planet system, and as mentioned already, only 20% led to a three-planet system in the arrangement we see today. So let's go over the scenario that resulted in the system that exists today. HD 208487 forms with six ice giant planets. After the debris disk dissipates, the orbital resonance of the planets break and chaos unfolds. The first, second, and third planets collide, resulting in a large gas giant on an eccentric orbit, Mintome. The fourth and fifth planets also collide, producing HD 208487c. The sixth planet is the only one left unscathed, becoming HD 208487d. After this, the system returns to stability, leaving the planets we see today. If this scenario is what actually happened, it's pretty exciting. Earth as we know it today formed out of the debris of two planets, Proto-Earth and Theia. But in this system, Mintome formed out of the debris of the collision of three separate planets. HD 208487c, assuming it exists, also formed out of the debris of two different planets. And HD 208487d had nothing interesting happen to it. This raises the question of moons around these planets. The moon formed after Theia and Proto-Earth collided, so could something similar have happened here? Does Mintom have a large moon system formed out of the dead remains of three different planets? Unfortunately, Mintome is very close to its star, so if it does have a moon system, it's likely a small one, because the star will take away any moons that are on longer orbits. But as I talked about in my Habitable Exit Moons video, simulations of moon formation suggest that the closer a planet is to its star, the larger its moons are on average. Mintome may be a special case if it did form after a three-planet collision, which could mess things up, but it may be a possibility that it's one or two large interesting moons. Planets C and D are much further from the star, having orbits that last 2.5 and 3.8 years respectively, increasing their chances for large moon systems, but are also smaller than Mintome, decreasing their chances. The study mentions the chances of exomoons, saying that they didn't find any candidates around any of the planets, but that doesn't mean they don't exist. They mention the hill spheres of both outer planets, the area around them where stable orbits are possible, are more than large enough for big, interesting moon systems, so I wouldn't rule them out. This theory, unfortunately, is not confirmed. We don't currently know for sure that planets C and D exist, and if they don't, then it kind of ruins this entire idea. And even if they do exist, the scenario I mentioned in this video of a three-planet collision forming Mintome is still one scenario of many, and could be changed if additional planets are found. This paper assumes a three-planet system, and if the weak evidence for a fourth planet turns out to be true, it may need to be reevaluated. But for now, it does seem like there is a possibility that a very violent event occurred in the HD 208487 system, resulting in two planets forming out of collisions, one of which involved a collision with three separate planets. If this is confirmed to be true, which it may not be, that would definitely make Mintome one of the most interesting exoplanets ever found, and this system one of the most noteworthy we found. 
Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, check out my other videos about exoplanets and space exploration.